there's a queen somewhere in there um, and she left from one of my colonies and she's here with about half of the population of bees right now and they're sending out scouts right now trying to find a new place to live um, and what will happen is enough of them will go find a certain place they'll be like oh here's a great place and they'll come back and they'll do all the same kind of dance in the same way and then by some sort of democratic process they'll figure out oh here's where we're going to go and then in mass they'll move out to that new spot oh wow um, but here right now what I want to do is I want to get them back so I'm going to take them I'm going to knock them into this box here um, and then they'll settle down for a little while I'll move into there and then I'll dump them into a hive in just a little while so awesome um, yeah so they're pretty and like I said they're really docile right now and sometimes you can see the queen crawling around on the outside it's not very not very frequent but, uh, but it, there's there's like thousands of bees there yeah I would say there's probably this looks like about maybe 15 20,000 somewhere wow, in there oh so, jeez yeah probably a third of the hive um, maybe so it's a pretty good sized swarm um, and uh for this part, they're because they have no home to defend yet, because they don't have anywhere they live, no brood, no young, no eggs. This is when they're really docile. So even though it's a swarm, it seems scary. They're they're not. They're so, pretty mellow. Yeah, they're mellow super out. mellow. Cool. So yeah, how can I help, or should I just uh, stand back and watch? Depends on how the bees are. Sometimes I'll wear a a veil for this part, but you don't usually need to. Um, and this guy. Yep. And you're hoping the queen's in that box? Ideally she will be. We'll find out pretty quick. Wow, look at that. And you can see a lot landed on me. But, see if I see her out sometimes, if you see them out, then I can pick her up. Boy, that's quite the sound there. So we'll know pretty quick whether she got in there or not, by based on whether the bees are going back in or not. So we'll just leave them do their little thing for a bit. And and we'll see. That's amazing. I might give one more. Oh, there's still some even up on the road. Yeah, there. well, and they'll, like I said, they'll all, they'll figure out wherever she is, they'll all end up going back to, they'll, they'll go back to where, they'll congregate around wherever the queen is, and if I happen to see her out, um, here's, a, here's a drone right here, there's a bigger one, but if I happen to see her out, I could pick her up and put her in there, um, just in case she didn't get in there on the shakedown. It looks like. I might do one more shoot. You you want to hold the box and I'll shake, or vice versa? Yeah, I think we're good. Oh man. There's just there's just a ton of bees in that box. Yeah, quite quite a few. Now, what we look for is we'll look for the bees start to we'll see them starting to move over to it if she's in there. Okay. Ideally, there would be ideally the box would be a little more closed up. It's not quite so open. Oh, but you can't see it. Box to see better days. We're gonna put a little over it just to make the entrance a bit smaller. and then we'll see if you watch them sometimes can get a pretty quick indication of whether the queen's still in there or not or okay there or not. and ideally if the queen's in there they'd be coming from will, the bush over yeah, to the box will. once they once they figure that piece out that's good all right we'll let them settle 
And so remind see how, oh, me. Oh, see, how they're, see how they're see how these guys that have they're exposing their abdomen right there, that little okay. end part. Uh huh. That is uh, and you can see that that gland right there. It's called a nas 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 gland. No, what is it called? The nasinoff gland. I got to remember. Um, but they're secreting a little pheromone that's saying, "Hey, everybody, come over here. Come over here. We're oh, over here now." Oh, okay. And so that's how they communicate by letting that um, that pheromone, saying that pheromone out, and they say, "Hey, the queen's over here. Come on, everybody, let's get over here." Wow. And so, then, so we're thinking the queen's in the box. I think so. Yeah, I think based, what on I'm, what? based on what I'm seeing so far, but we, we'll let them sit for half an hour. Once they're all in the box, or most of them are in the box, um, then we'll go dump them in another in another call in another hive over there, which is pretty cool. You just take this box and you just shake them, them shake them in, and as long as you get the queen in there, then you're fine. So. Wow. Um, and remind me again, you were telling me about this uh, the other night, but. The, the queen that was in the colony has moved out. That with, she's with these guys right here. And, and a new queen will hatch that will take over the old colony. Well, right. That's the idea. That's the theory. Yeah, that's the okay. idea. So this is what they do. Like, Stacy, you asked if they swarm every every year. Yeah. They would like to. They would swarm multiple times a year. Yeah. You, as a, as a beekeeper, try to prevent that because you don't want to lose all these bees who can make lots of honey. And right. there's a queen that's mated and she's doing well. Yeah. What's surprising me about this particular colony that swarmed is that... I didn't think they had a queen. Um, I had left some cells there for them, so that might this might be a a virgin queen that swarmed, but that's not always that that doesn't always happen. But yeah, they would like to swarm every year. Yeah. As soon as they get built up enough and enough mm-hmm. stores, they're like, it's great, let's go. And so she goes out and sets up colony somewhere else yeah. and leaves behind some cells to hatch into a new queen. And that queen goes out and mates and then comes back and then has a colony there. Okay. So that's how they propagate more and more colonies. Got it. Um, if they if they could. Yeah, you can see how these guys are crawling up now into there. Yeah. See, they're all kind of... They're, they're moving more, their more way. They're moving in this way, it seems like to me. Um, we'll let that sit for a little bit yep. and yeah. see what happens. So, yeah, while we're waiting, we'll go do an inspection on one of the other colonies. Just cool. To... We've got our hive ready for the new colony here. We're going to bring the box of bees over. And he's left in four frames that are full of honey for the new colony. So we'll have something to get started with. We have six empty frames there. And those are going to go in the center once we dump the bees in. And the queen will start laying eggs in these empty these empty cells. This is all beeswax. Here comes the box. Wow, they're pretty they're pretty mellow again. And this is a time where you don't have to wear a veil either. Um, see, I don't have one on. I'm just going to open these up. And our goal is to get make sure that the queen gets in there, which is probably in this big mass right here. Oh, they can fly. Yeah, yeah, the queen can fly. Yep, she can fly. I guess because she swarms, yeah. Yep, so she she can fly. She's not as likely to fly. Um, she's a little bit heavier, and so she doesn't, she does, tends not to fly. Um, but she will, and that's why, yeah, they, she has to, to swarm. That's one way you can prevent swarming is some people will clip their, the queen's wings. Oh. And then, then she doesn't fly away. And now I'm just putting the frames back in. Trying to be careful not to smash any bees if I can help it. But ideally, if she's in there, then the, all the, you'll start to see what happens in a moment once I get this together. So this is kind of the moment of truth here. She's not. Hopefully she's not smashed. You got 
the frames right. in there. Right. And what, you'll, what we'll notice is, I need to grab my tool. Where's that? I, so I'm going to use them to remove these frames and they're nice and tight here. And what we'll start to see is we'll start to see the bees all marching in, any ones that are out. They'll just start to march in. Okay. We got them in their new home here. Is the plan? That's the plan. And there are just bees everywhere, and I, they're they're not stinging. They're not all over us. They're yep. totally calm. Brush these guys in here. And then after I get that done there, I like to take a look back over here and you can see again, even though there's this craziness, swarminess here, the bees are, if she's in there, we'll start to see them all kind of start marching in and walking in. Sometimes when you dump her out, you can see her, you can find her, um, especially if I dumped them all on here, but since I dumped them in there, it's not likely that we'll see her, but you can start to see how they're starting to kind of, some are kind of calm back in. Here's all that Nazov gland. They're all yes. releasing the pheromone here, saying, hey, come over here, come over here, we're all over here. Um, and then that was, as more bees come in, they'll settle, and they'll start walking in. Kind of like we're seeing over on this corner, they're, just, they're, they're walking in, they're not walking out. Mm -hmm. Good, okay. It's fine, but I see her. How am I gonna get her? Okay. So she's not in. She's under here. So I'm gonna try to since she's not in, it'd be great if she was. You wanna put her in, yeah. I wanna put her in, but she's right underneath there right now. And so I wanna be careful about this. Be thoughtful. I don't wanna do it. Oh there she is. Here she is pulling down right now. So this is the queen. See that one right there? Yeah, it was a big, big, big abdomen. Big abdomen. Hey, here's the, oh, look at, look at you. She's not on me, is she? I don't see her. So she was there, right? And I kind yeah. of grabbed her. You got her. You had her. Yep. And then I kind of just popped her, put my finger in there, and we'll watch her for a little while. But did you see? So... Um, I don't know if you could tell, but she was not mated yet. Her she abdomen was smaller. Exactly. Yeah. So I could still see that she was a queen. She had that different thorax a little bit, but her abdomen was smaller. So she's a virgin queen. So that means then that this makes more sense to me now that she that there's more queens that are going to emerge in that particular colony. Um, and so she's going to now hope. Oh, there she is. She's out again. Right there. Unless there's more than one, which is a possibility. I see her. You got so now her. I have her in my hand, right? Yeah. So, I'm going to be a little different here. And it's possible there's more than one queen in there. Not likely. It's possible. She's in my hand right now. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to pull this top board too. And she does not have a stinger. She does. She yep. does. Yep, she can sting. She doesn't have a barbed stinger, so she can actually oh, sting it repeat won't. it repeatedly. Oh. Tends not to. They tend not to. Stuck here. There you go. Okay. 
she flew out, she could have. She might have gone down, I didn't see. So we'll know pretty, like I said, we'll know again if she's in there or not, because all the bees will end up going in there. Oops, ouch, sorry. I just don't have myself stung. Mm. That was my fault, because I just accidentally smashed one. So, okay. Okay, we'll try that again. So that's kind of why I like to watch a little bit, because you can't sometimes possibly, you can possibly sometimes. So she, I mean she and she might have gone in on her own accord. She might have, but I like to have her, if I can, ensure that she's in there, you know? Yeah. Much better. My opinion. Okay. Okay. So now let's just watch for a little bit. Now, it is possible. I, could, I couldn't tell. She could have flown off my hand instead of going onto the frame. She could have gone off my hand um, and flown up. We will know, because if she's not there, and she's out flying around here, She'll go back and probably land in the same spot and all of these will oh yeah look at there she is. Yeah. See? I don't know about this spot, dude. Come on, queen. Interesting. Yeah. At least she's here. Right. She's here. Yeah. And they're, so they're still kind of hanging out outside because she's outside. Well, and there's a lot in there, but they'll start. Yeah, let's see. I don't see her anymore. You see her? Nope, nope, I don't see her. But yeah, you can tell that, you can tell she's a queen, but you can tell she's not yeah. mated because you see her abdomen is not extended yet. That once she fills up with drone sperm and her ovaries really start uh, producing eggs, then she ends up, that the abdomen swells up quite a bit and she becomes much, much larger. Mm-hmm. Well, and this is this a drone here? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, so there's drones. And drones do not have stingers. So oh. drones don't have stingers. Um, so you can pick them up, and they're, you know, they're they're fine. They're, they're, um, they're, yeah. They're not going to sting you. But she has to leave to mate. She does. Yep. She doesn't mate in the hive, so she will go out on mating flights for about a week. Um, mates with somewhere between, you know, a dozen and two dozen drones, um, and stores all that sperm. And that's why queens fail; they run out of drone sperm eventually. But she can store it in there for a couple of years. Um, and I don't see her coming back out. That's good. And it looks like these are crawling in. Oh, there she is again, right there. There she is. Right there. She's, yep. Not flying away, that's good. I wish she would go in. There she went in. Oh, she stays in. Yeah, she hasn't been so. Is this her coming back out again? Yeah. <laughs> there she's in. <laughs> This is so wild to just be, uh, I mean, I guess there's not as many flying around now, but it's certainly loud. Yeah, yeah. It's loud and it's strange to be around, you know, <laughs> thousands of stinging insects and they're not very, they really don't want to get you, right? I mean, right. They really want to sting you. Well, because as soon as they sting, they're done. Right. Right? right. They, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, all right, well, we'll let them do their thing. We'll see if she stays in there. Looks like we got a lot of these these oh extreme with that yeah the front. glands yep. Yep. going on very cool we'll come back and check out yep. in a while huh? totally. 